everybody and welcome to my 25th Microsoft Access tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use a union query. Now a union query is very simple in concept it just allows you to combine two tables with the same data uh, into one kind of query. Uh, so here I've got a I've split my sales into sales north and sales south and this can be useful for a few different reasons. Uh, it can make it clear where people need to be say, uh, put in their information. Uh, it can also, if you can cut, put put different servers and or essentially and have different people connect into different tables. And if you've got a lot of people connecting, it will stop your system from crashing as much. But what, once you split them out, you need a way of combining them back together again. So this is where our union query comes in. So we're going to create and I'm going to go into query design and uh, I'm going to not put any tables in uh, and instead I'm going to click on this union button up here uh, and what it's going to give me is it's not actually got any kind of automatic editor for union queries. Uh, we have to write in our query using SQL, uh, but it's very simple for union queries. So we put in select and then all from sales underscore north and then go down to the next line and just put union all uh, and then we're just going to copy the line above and change this to sales south. So we're always putting in select from sales north. The star just means all the fields. If you want to just put in a couple of fields, then you'd put them in by doing, so you do sales date, comma, uh, item number, etc. And you put in your, your field names like that. Um, as it is, I'm using a star just to say, I want all the fields from that table, union them all, with the fields in this table. Uh, if you've got more than two tables, you just keep going. So you keep adding unions uh, for however many you want. But I only need the two, so I'm just going to leave it at two. Uh, and then last but not least, we end it off with a semicolon. So now we can save this and we'll call it all sales. Press OK and close. And then when we double click on it and run it, it's going to combine both the tables together. So I've got this one with the north sales and then this one with the south sales and then I've got my query which gives me all of my sales. I can then use that query in my other queries so if I go into query design and then you can go into queries and you can use your union queries to just give you a uh, the, the all of the tables combined together uh, rather than having to create lots of different separate ones. Uh, and then also the advantage of doing that is whenever you add in another one, so say we added in sales east and south, we just need to change our design view in here to have the extra ones in there. We wouldn't need to redo all of our queries. Um, and that's it for union queries, and that's also going to be it for queries full stop. And the next tutorial I'll start going through forms and how you use those. Uh, they're very useful, so I recommend learning them, uh, even if just for quick little forms for yourself. But I'll show you enough that you'll be able to use them to create really good user interfaces for your kind of customer base. Um, uh, any further requests for query tutorials, drop them on the forum in the tutorial requests, and I'll put, I'll put some on there if you if you put your request in there. So that's it. Thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.